old man stares despondently at him. What strikes you about this? Indeed, it's a mystery. You've seen demented people before. This feels- No, I'm not a- There it is again. Erratic hand motions. Bouts of rage. What? But you said I would be taken to the- The- This terror. I- Do you- No. We don't need your permission. Do you need to talk? Yeah, no. Oh, Kuno understands what's wrong. Lillian, you could ask her. Watch this killer. This fucking... Below the confusion and rage, a fit of jamais vu like yours, the thought passes. More pressing matters take its place. There it is again. To your north, something completely different. Maybe there is room for three on the boat? What? What a far... A delicate tangle of arms and legs unfolds from the reeds, limb by limb. To then just stand there, moving its scythe-like arms in ghostly silence. It's still there, an unfolding mechanism of reed-like chitin hovering in place. What are you talking about? There's nothing there. The stick insect is over three meters tall. It Tell me what you see, damn it. I can't make out one small thing in the reeds. Yeah, I can fucking see it. Thank God. If he can see, then maybe you're not insane. It's really there, spinning slowly, in absolute silence, its limbs long and slender. Be very careful. stands on long stilt-like legs, antennae hanging from his head like a woman's hair, white and curled at the tips. It is no more than five steps away from you. Reed-like tufts stick out of its joints. As the insect moves its forearms, it produces a faint hiss, like a reel-to-reel -reel machine spinning after the tape breaks. The insulindian phasmid? Everybody does. It's the fucking insulindian phasmid. Yeah, I I don't have a camera. That sucks about Kuno. Kuno can't believe how lame he is without the camera right now. Should have stolen one. A real cop would have one. He not as much as glances at the gigantic. A sudden chirrup fills the air. The walking stick moves its whole body, limbs working independently of each other, like the parts of a masterfully constructed machine. It moves just an inch closer to you, or does it only feel like it does? Something in its body language has changed, just slightly. Slowly, with your breath held, you take two small steps toward the phasmid. The creature lets out a series of ultrasonic clicks that swarm around your head like swallows. Like laughter, a sort of happiness. 
Hissing and clicking, it extends its mandible-like antennae to greet you. You're right below it now, looking up at the colossal chitin of its white limbs. The head of the creature is crowned by reeds, and its eyes are like small droplets of water. The insect stops its stridulation, seeming to observe you. Below its crown of reeds, little pinprick eyes detect motion, glittering. The world stands still around you. As you do, the invertebrate comes to life, its limbs moving independent of each other, as if each has a mind of its own. They are white, like stalks of porcelain, knitting above you, praying to you. The reed creature does not stop its stridulations. It towers above you, parting the reeds it emerged from. Tuft-like structures still rustle on its joints. No reply. A total ancient silence comes from its mouth, along with what appears to be some kind of foam. The stridulations of its limbs continue all around you. You were right. Little bubbles form on the mouth parts of the creature, on its segmented lower lip. It looks to be foaming, slowly. The foam is white, then yellowish. Whoa! Maybe it's poison? Fucking hell! The foam slowly turns a darker shade, like burnt caramel, as the insect moves its mouth parts, masticating. The little bubbles begin to burst, one by one. I exist. Tell me what it's like for you. Yes, holy is the Lord of hosts, and all the earth is filled with his glory. Now, I will tell you what it's like for me. For me, it is a series of half-lit images. A kind of darkness, being intruded upon, transient, deep, moist, shapes of plants and animals, and internal sensations, a swarm of sounds, tiny vibrations on the inside of my forearms, all speak of complexities totally beyond my understanding. I am at the end of an era funnel, weightless, so light, it only feels like something to be me. In truth, perhaps I'm nothing. I certainly do not have a soul, and if I did, it would never ache. Are you sure? Sometimes, when molting, I will grow a lost limb. One time something went wrong, and the small leg replaced the missing antenna. No, the leg tried to move around independently, making it hard to walk. Yes, thankfully someone ate it. The next time I molded, I grew an antenna again. No, you are awake. I am real. Light is forming me. This is real. So am I. I was born to detect sucrose rewards and semiochemicals. What were you born to detect? Yes. No one detected me for such a long, long time. For thousands of years. I dithered. Out of sight. Trapped myself in greenery. No one believed I exist. Almost no one. Until you came, detective. Dripping of blood that smells like strawberries across the calm sea. The first in a thousand years. Not even the birds know that. Not even the water lily. I think we should eat it. If it's a leaf, you can put it in your mouth. Or read. Yum yum. Wait, so. Yes, they don't mind. Yes, I once cloned myself and ate the little ones. It was winter, and I woke up at the wrong time. 
It was an accident. I am an all-known species of the order Phantasmodia, endemic to the Insulindia Isuma. For the last 350 years, I have hidden in plain sight, masquerading as the reeds, molting, combing myself, unfolding at night to play with trash games and boys. I went unnoticed by the first settlers and the land surveyors of the Sussurin. Also, by the soldiers of the revolution and the officials of the occupation. Even the Samanese islanders who came here first, but did not stay, have not seen me. I have stayed here in through four forms of government. No, you are. The moral of our encounter is, I am a relatively medium life form, while it is you who are a total extreme madness. A volatile senior nerve system, ominously new to the planet. The pale too came with you. No one remembers it before you. The Nidarians do not. The radially symmetrics do not. There is an almost unanimous agreement between the birds and the plants that you are going to destroy us all. It is a nervous shadow cast into the world by you, eating away at reality. A great, unnatural territory. Its advent coincides with the arrival of the human mind. You are a violent and irrepressible miracle. The vacuum of cosmos and the stars burning in it are afraid of you. Give me enough time, you will wipe us all out and replace us with nothing. Just by accident. We suspect it will be something like the oxygen holocaust that wiped out anaerobic life 2.6 billion years ago, when organisms first started breathing. Only much worse. Instead of air, you exhale thoughts. There are no trees that eat thoughts. Everything your eyes touch goes back there, behind the nose mirror. What if you blink? Are we still here? Please don't blink. What if he misplays us all one day? Or just forget. So, it is already happening. One day, one of you will... Doesn't look like you're spazzing out. Kuno knows all about seizures. You're just staring at the giant insect. Cool. So is Kuno. Kuno's also having a vision of a giant insect. And it's real. Back off before it eats you. No, there is one more. Thank you. I also have one more thing to say to you. That woman, turn from the ruin. Turn and go forward. Do it for the working class. You cannot lie to me. Behind you. He smells of fires. So awfully far you were prepared to go in her presence. And it. She was middle class. It doesn't take a three meters thick insect to tell you that. As you're turning away, the phasmid mirrors your movements, stepping on the water, the long limbs carrying its feather weight without breaking its surface. Just like that, it's gone, skating away across the sea's calm mirror like a skipping stone, leaving nothing but circles on the water. And something under it, in the place it stood, bobbing there, among the reeds, a collection of items. It's gone! Between those reeds there! Fucking elegant! The fuck? Is that ceramic? And more stuff, like a nest in the reeds. We should peep it. Fucking hell. What now? In some kind of strange, semi-catatonic state. 
Yeah, Grandpa's not looking so good. We need to check on him. What is it? Something is very wrong with him. See? The man does not respond. I like the boy, the trim. Yeah, this fried him. We gotta bring him. He's old and fried. Kuno seen this, like, after a mask. Yeah, and then there's that shit. Gramps could. There's much. Quite a few things about that health check you did on him make sense now. Yeah, Kuno knows. Yeah, yeah. Because look at him. How? No response. Then how the fuck did we see it? Yo, you ever seen a giant fucking insect? The, the... Yeah, yeah, you see that too. Got a little jumpy there, didn't you? I know that vibe. I'm off me lightning too. Yeah, old man, hang tight. Let's slowly start shuffling off death out.